R. Kelly is back in jail this morning for not paying his child support bills. He was arrested yesterday in Chicago after he failed to pay more than $161,000 he allegedly owes. Now, that happened just hours after Gail's explosive interview with him first aired. Kelly also faces 10 charges of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Court documents allege three of his four accusers were underage at the time. Kelly has pleaded not guilty. The two women that Kelly lives with are Azriel Clary and Joycelyn Savage. They were in court as he was arraigned on those charges last week. Their parents say they believe the singer has brainwashed them. We asked our Kelly about allegations that he lured these young women with promises of helping their singing careers. Now, Kelly claims it was Savage's mother who pushed him on the issue. She started promoting that Joycelyn could sing, and she was a singer, and she's trying to be a singer, and, you know, you know wanted me to produce her or whatever. I said, well, you know, let her sing. She sang, and she couldn't sing. But how does it go from she can't sing, you don't think she has a talent that you like, but she ends up being with you? Spending time I'm not with, with you, her living for her with you. talent. When I saw her on stage, nothing about her told me she sing. I don't have yes, you know, yeah. I can't say, oh, that girl sing. It's because she was beautiful. Well, we then interviewed Azriel Clary and Joycelyn Savage with R. Kelly, who was standing nearby, even though his team had told us he would not be in the room he entered after the interview began. They told us that their parents are just looking for money, which both sets of parents deny. Do either of you want to sing? No. No. None of you have any singing ambitions. No. 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 That's a lie. That's another lie. Yeah. yeah. That's another lie. Yeah. Trust me. No, we yes, did not. I did want hear to do that singing. you wanted to sing. No, that you wanted I did not. to sing. So let me tell you something up. about singing. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. okay. Before I even met R. Kelly, I told my parents I did not want to sing. My parents made singing like a job for me. So it's not something I wanted to do. Not only that, I even tried to kill myself because I did not want to sing as a cry out for help mm -hmm. to tell them this is not what I want to do with my life. This is not how I want to spend my life. Yeah, singing. your father told me that, that you had tried to take your life and that the only thing that made you happy was singing. No. And that's why that's he became lie. involved with R. Let me Kelly tell you something. to no. help you. No, no. Neither one of you want to sing. What do you want to do in terms of a job or career? Are you happy just doing what you're doing? Honestly, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I haven't yeah. figured out what I want to do with my life, but right. I know when that time comes, we know Rob is going to support us regardless. Right. <laughs> Most definitely. He's our full support, and yeah. we're his full support. And all we need is each other. Tariqa Duncan is outside the Cook County Jail in Chicago, where R. Kelly is in custody with a response from the Clary and the Savage families. Tariqa, good morning. Good morning. Azrael and Joycelyn's parents both say that they never received any money from R. Kelly. And as you just heard in that clip, Azrael says that she actually tried to attempt suicide because of her parents pressuring her to sing. Well, CBS News reviewed medical records. And according to those medical records, Azrael told doctors at the time that the suicide attempt was triggered by issues with her then boyfriend. She told them music helped calm her down. And in the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, Clary's parents say it was Azriel who was pushing to become a famous singer and work with Kelly. They claim they told Azriel she could not be alone with Kelly if she worked with him. I didn't think it was a good fit. Uh, I didn't want to have any part of it, but Azriel actually pressed us. She made her little threats about if we didn't, you know, let her do this, what she would do. At a news conference yesterday, Joycelyn Savage's parents said they had proof it was Kelly who arranged for Joycelyn to meet him. They said they were disturbed by his interview. What I saw on TV this morning about his way he acted when he got upset, I can only imagine what he does in behind closed doors. I sit there and I want to not just pray for my daughter, but pray for Mr. Kelly to get some type of healing. Now, about 30 minutes after the news conference, Joycelyn contacted her family for the first time in two years. She called their lawyer's office and said that she is happy. Now, a manager for R. Kelly said that he would facilitate an in-person reunion for the Savages as early as next week. Joycelyn's parents also said, though, that they want a mental health expert 
to be with them. Biana? Thank you, Jerika. Could I say something yeah. to Jerika? Jerika, I'm glad you pointed out about the medical records because uh, Mr. Clary, Azriel's father, told me the exact same thing. The reason why she committed suicide, uh, that she tried to commit suicide, tried to take her own life, was because she had had a very messy breakup with a boyfriend. So I'm glad that you have medical, you have documentation that actually backs up what he is saying. Thank you, yeah. Tarika. Thank I you. mean, it's a sad story, as you mentioned, yeah. all the way around. Yes. Yeah. And it's so complicated, and there's so many layers. It's very complicated and just very, very tawdry and messy. But mm -hmm. hopefully there will be a resolution very soon. Thank you very much. And, of course, any young girl can, has the right to change her mind as to mm -hmm. her career ambitions. But yes. it seems to be a bit more than just that. That's a good point.